Hi, Scorpios. So I finally got to y'all reading today. I know y'all thought I forgot about y'all, but I didn't. And y'all was like, what is she doing? Where is she at? Where is our reading? <laughs> All right, I'm here. So let's just jump right in and get you guys messages. When I was pre shuffling, I did pick up the energy that somebody is about to get themselves together for you. But you know what, Scorpios? I don't feel like this person's problem is getting themselves together. I feel like this person's problem is being consistent, okay? I feel like that's what you have a problem with with this person. Like, they'll tell you they're going to do something, and they'll do it for maybe like a week or two or three or a month or two months to six months, but they don't, they don't stay consistent. And I feel like that's your problem. Some of you with this person. All right. So the first three cards that we have is romance, drama, and memories. Your dating life is about to get exciting. I saw this card the first time. Actually, I saw this card like two or three times when I was shuffling for you guys. Your dating life is about to get exciting. Enjoy the company of your special someone or potential partner. Any drama will always add fuel to the fire. There may be misunderstandings, arguments, lies, manipulation, or ego causing this tension. So some of you have drama with your person right now. And I feel like you're thinking about where you guys were at a specific time and then where you are now. And you're like, I don't know if we can even get back to that. All right, there's a confirmation of this person possibly calling you to get themselves together. I forgot to uh, to mute this. Give me one second. Okay, sorry about that, guys. But that was confirmation. Call came through. All right, so some of you may receive a call from your person today or you received one already. If not today, sometime this week, okay? But um, with memories, we have someone is walking down memory lane at this time. It's okay to reminisce about the past by looking at old photos and messages. So someone could be looking at your photos, okay? Looking at text messages and things like that. You know, wanting to... Um, Fix this situation after you guys went through some drama. So let's see. What does Scorpio need to know about their person? What is Scorpio's person up to? What energy are they bringing in? All right, so we have two here. <laughs> yep, final shot and annoyance. You're annoyed. You know why you're annoyed? Because you keep giving this person chances. And I feel like this person may have one more shot with you. Just one more. Because we're going into the new year. And you know the same. New year. What is it? New me, new year. Or new year, new me. Something like that. Yeah. We have you or your partner may be annoyed right now. Give each other space to cool off to avoid more arguments. And then we have final shot. Now is the time. The clock is ticking. If you never shoot your shot, then you will always wonder what if. So... For some of you, this is someone who wants to date you that's coming in. Um, and you guys may be friends and they're wondering if you guys can be more. And then for others of you, this person is coming back around and they're like, okay, I have one more chance to get this right. I know she's annoyed with me or I know he's annoyed with me because I keep doing things, but I'm gonna try to fix the situation. Yeah, some of you broke up with this person or this person broke up with you. We have time apart is on the horizon. This may be short term. This is gonna, for some of you, this is short term. Short term breakup. This person said something, did something, but they're going to come back and apologize for it. Try to get things back on track. Yep, here's the communication. You're setting boundaries with this person this time. You're going to be extremely clear with whoever this is, Scorpio. A conversation is on the horizon. Someone is planning to reach out. Be ready to express yourself. Yeah, I feel like you are. Because some of you have been silent. And the whole time you've been silent, you were like, you know what? When I finally talk to this person, if I talk to them again, this is exactly what I'm going to say. This is what's on my mind. So maybe you may have even put something in your phone, like on your notepad, so you won't forget. But you're going to let somebody know, like, setting boundaries, don't cross them, period. Like, don't cross my boundaries. It's important to set boundaries with this person. Be mindful of what you will and will not tolerate. And then we also have clarity. Someone finally sees the answer that was always right in front of their eyes. The vision is clear. Therefore, what is to come shall be clear too. Yeah, because it's meant for you and this person to be together because we have fate here. In life and love, things may not always be clear, make sense, or seem to be going our way. What is meant to be will be. 
choose peace as you navigate through life. So the universe is saying, don't stress about the situation. If it's meant for you to be with this person, you'll be with them. And don't chase anybody. And I don't feel like you guys are. Just by the energy of your pre-shuffle, I don't think you guys are chasing this person at all. This person is about to chase you or they're about to come in and like beg for forgiveness. Or if they don't beg for forgiveness, it's like they're going to talk their way through it. If you'll even hear them out, Scorpio. Yep. Here's a tough conversation. Somebody must have ghosted. Wait, hold up. Okay. So for some of you, this person ghosted you. Look at the way your cards are coming out. And these are some of the same cards I saw in the pre-shuffle, especially secrets and forgive and heal. Um, we have tough conversations. Conversations are essential to rebuild or maintain a relationship. We need to have those tough conversations. It may not be what we always want to do, but you need to do this. So some of you know you need to have a conversation with this person about how they're acting or, you know, if you guys are even going to stay together. The communication between you and someone seems non-existent. Don't allow this moment to taint your dating life with others. So some of you are like, you know what? I don't want to deal with anybody right now. I'm sick of dealing with people that are either ghosting me, um, you know, for no reason or they're half calling. They're acting like they, you know, are not invested as I am. And then we have forgive and heal. As you forgive and heal, your love life becomes brighter and healthier. And it says someone is holding back in this connection. Secrets undermine trust. It's better to lay it all out on the table than to keep it hidden. And I feel like this is what you guys are going to be doing. Like, I also feel like this person is going to be opening up about something that's been bothering them. I'm picking up the energy that somebody here loves you, but they're going through something and they don't want to discuss it with you. But they feel like they have to now, especially if... You know, if you threaten this person that you were going to walk away, we have missed chances. Have you considered all your options? Did you give it everything? In the end, we only regret the chances that we didn't take. So someone is feeling like, I love Scorpio. I have to give it another chance. I can't just walk away from the situation. It's not making sense to them to just give you up. We have reconciliation. Be open to someone returning and wanting to work things out. And we also have chemistry. There is undeniable chemistry between you and this person. Are you willing to explore it? For some of you, when you guys are on the same page and things are good, it's like you're happy. No problems, no issues. It's like you guys are getting along. And then this person just goes left and does something to sort of screw everything up. And I feel like that's what you're like not understanding about the situation. Like, why do you keep going left? Why do you keep screwing things up? And it's like you're tired. It's like you don't want to keep trying to fix something that you're not breaking, which makes perfect sense, Scorpio. All right, so let's get one more, and then we're going to jump into the tarot. All oh, yep. New chapter. This person may ask you to hang out. And this is going to require your patience, too, because for some of you, there was a third-party situation here, and we also have an apology. A fresh start is always good for everyone. Doors are opening for this new phase within your love life. Who doesn't love spending time with their crush or boo? Dating doesn't always have to be fancy dinners. Spending quality time with someone can be romantic, fun, and chill. So someone may ask you just to, you know, I don't know. It's kind of cold all over the place right now. But someone may ask you to go for a walk or, you know, you guys can walk inside of a mall or a museum or they may ask you just to, you know, do something fun or something that you haven't done before. Just to sort of, like, lighten the situation. All right, so we also have patience. Why the rush? There's no need to rush divine timing. Enjoy the journey because it is worth the wait. And then we have third party. There's something or someone that is affecting your relationship. It's time to address it. And I feel like this is what you guys are going to address with this communication that's coming in from your person. And this person is going to give you an apology. Apologizing might be a crucial step in preserving this relationship. Yeah, of course it is. It can also provide an opportunity to address certain behaviors or concerns. But what I normally see in situations like this is an apology is changed behavior. And I feel like a lot of you are going to be telling this person, like, don't keep telling me sorry every time you do something to me. Change your behavior. All right. So let's get some tarot. Let's see what else the universe wants you guys to know. And I forgot to tell you guys, this is a quick energy check-in reading, so it won't be long. But we're going to get as many messages as possible. We have the hangman. So someone is stuck trying to come towards you. You know why I feel like this person is stuck? Could be a Pisces. 
But I feel like they're stuck because, or they lack direction. I don't feel like they're stuck. I feel like they may lack direction, right? So you can see that as the same thing, if you may. But I feel like you've heard it all before. It's like, how many times are you going to keep telling me that you're going to do right? And this is what this person wants to tell you. But, you know, they're feeling like, yep, here they are, Wheel of Fortune. Fate, destiny, cycles, things are changing. Some of you could be dealing with a fixed sign. Uh, Aquarius, a Leo, a Taurus, or a Scorpio. But yeah, it's like you're tired of hearing the same thing. You're tired of hearing that this person is going to change and do right. And we have the Three of Cups here. So someone wants a reunion with you. Some of you guys may be going to a party with friends, celebrating Christmas. Um, and happy Christmas Eve to those of you who celebrate it. I forgot to say that in the beginning of the reading. All right, so we have the Seven of Cups here. There's a choice that this person, I don't feel like this person could have a third party and this Seven of Cups could symbolize that. But I also feel like this person is like, listen, there's a choice that I need to make. And, and they're searching for purpose here. And I feel like they're contemplating, but the only reason why they're contemplating is because they know this time around, this may be it for them because you guys had the final shot card. I know I saw it in here and they may feel like, okay, I only have this one last chance here. I only have this one last chance to get this together. And if I don't do this right, for 2023 Scorpio is like done with me and they know that even if you don't cut this person off immediately you're gonna start moving in a different direction and that's even worse because it's like they're gonna think you guys are still together but your eyes are gonna be set on someone else and I feel like this person is starting to realize that possibly by you pulling away you may not come towards this person like you used to maybe you don't call them or text them like you used to so they could be noticing some different behavior in you. So we have the Ace of Swords here. Seeing the truth, clarity, and a breakthrough. Yeah, there's going to be a breakthrough from someone. Oh, this person's not moving slow anymore. Knight of Pentacles is in the reverse. And you know why? The Queen of Swords is here. Some of you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo Taurus, or a Capricorn, or a Air sign, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, right? Or you could be this Queen of Swords. You could be really cold right now, cutting this person off, just giving them the cold shoulder, like not wanting to talk, you know, and if you do talk to them, it's like you're straight to the point. Like we're not BSing anymore. You know, we're not playing games. This person was moving slow to come towards you. They were like half coming towards you, you know, and I feel like you were just so frustrated with this Scorpio is what I'm seeing here. But with the Ace of Swords, clarity i feel like you already have clarity and this person it's like you know the truth about the situation some of you may even feel like this person's never going to change i don't even feel like if this person comes in right now but we do have the magician manifest we have the knight of wands so there is going to be movement but i feel like for some of you you're not believing that this person is going to change with this energy and you're like okay i'll believe it when i see it and if you're going to do it then just do it and don't talk about it so we have the Knight of Wands here, Sagittarius energy. We also have the Magician, Gemini, and Virgo energy. So some of you could be dealing with those signs. But with this Knight of Wands, this person's going to come in really charming, you know, coming towards you with all this fiery passion and, and energy here. Trying to manifest something with you. Trying to talk you into believing that this time around, out of all the other times, like this time around, they're going to make this right. And I feel like with your energy showing up here, you want to believe this person. But this person may have left you out in the cold so many times. We have the Nine of Cups in the reverse with the Six of Cups in the reverse. So some of you are like, I don't care how much history we have. I don't care if you want to reconcile with me. Can you make me happy? Because so far you have not been making me happy. With this Five of Pentacles, it's just like you've been leaving me out in the cold. And some of you have been extremely emotional over this situation i feel like you you're emotional and then it's like you're emotional one minute and then you're cold the next it's like you snap out of it and you're like no i gotta get myself together i can't be down over this person i have things to do you know i have to tend to my kids i have to work and i'm not going to be stressed and and depressed about the situation so some of you may be choosing to make a decision here and i feel like your person knows it or they're feeling it some of you your person may be feeling your energy um telepathically 
and that may be causing them to rush in yep with the four of cups feel like there's going to be a missed opportunity we have the nine of wands this person was guarded at one point and they're coming right towards you to talk about commitment or moving towards a higher level of commitment we have the hierophant here taurus energy some of you may already be married to this person and maybe you guys were just separated so take it how it resonates with you but someone is like they don't like this disconnect between the two of you and they know they caused it some of you may even have someone new that you're thinking about or this person is coming back to start things over again but they are very guarded with the nine of wands and i feel like they're guarded because of their pride and ego they know they have to like drop all of that like somebody has to have an ego death like all the way around the board and they're afraid of that because you know they like change is not easy no matter you know a lot of people say oh just change yeah i get it like just change but change is a process it's not overnight and this person knows like if they say they're going to do something they have to keep their word this time Yep, Ten of Swords. Oh my God, this person knows how many times they betrayed you and stabbed you in the back. And now they want to heal this situation. Look at your cards. The Justice, the Star, the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius or a Libra. We have Karma here. This person could have gotten some Karma. Maybe that's why they're coming back around to fix things with you. They want to heal this. Like They, they still have faith in it. They're hoping that you let them back in. So that you guys can have this Ten of Cups after they could have betrayed you. Or this could have been a real painful ending. Like there was a, like a lot of betrayal. Or the betrayal here was extremely harsh. Alright, let's get a couple more. That card almost fell on the floor. The Emperor, yes. Yeah, someone wants to come back and take control of this situation. They want to come out of this tower moment. Yep. They want to come out of this tower moment. And we have the Eight of Wands here. We also have the Four of Pentacles. So someone, I feel like this person always knew that they were going to hang on to you. The way the way their cards are coming out with this tower reverse, the Empress. Some of you are dealing with an Aries or another Scorpio. But I feel like this person was just taking you for granted. They were playing games and they didn't think that you were going to like... I feel like you guys were setting boundaries with this person. But like, you know, I'm, you know how you set boundaries with someone and then you they come in and they act right and you sort of like let your guard down a little bit and then they go back and do the same thing. I feel like you guys were setting boundaries with them and they just kept taking advantage to the point to where as though you're like, okay, you're cut. And you had to start showing them that they were cut off by like ignoring this person. They would text you, you wouldn't text them back. They called you, you know, well, you wouldn't answer the phone. You would play like you weren't home if they tried to stop past your house. I don't know. I'm just picking up a lot of energy here. And it's it's making this person want to come in with some fast movement and some fast communication with the Eight of Wands. Some of you, this person may even live at a distance. And they talked about traveling to see you. And they just kept talking about it. And they never did it. And you got fed up. And now they're like, oh, okay, after you know the new year, I'm just going to come and I'm going to see you. And this person may buy like a plane ticket or a train uh, ticket or something or just drive to see you to prove that they are serious and that they do want to hang on to you. So those are the messages that I have for your quick energy check in Scorpios. Merry Christmas. Um, enjoy you guys holiday and I will see you in the next reading. Bye.